Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create amazing blobs for your Elementor website and projects. And these blobs will look just like this, and like this, and even these in the background. So if I try to reload this website, you realize that you can actually even animate them on the different objects or even images or sections wherever you put them. To get started, we are going to use a very simple tool called Blob Maker. And the beauty about this is that you don't need to have any knowledge in uh, using either Illustrator, you don't need to purchase anything, it's totally free. So once you search Blob Maker, it will come here, blobmaker.app. So once it shows up right here, then you are here. So you can generate shapes in any way you want, like, just like these can decide how many or how the shapes will look like so I want something that looks like this then I can create as many shapes as I want they give you even an option of auto generating without having to add any uh, options for yourself so they give you the options right here by just clicking on this reload button so once you are happy with any of the shapes so you download when you download it, basically generates for you an SVG file and this SVG file is what you will have to import into Elementor or even to open with uh, any design program just like Illustrator where you can actually import SVG images. So let's download this. Once I have it downloaded, maybe the other option I didn't show you is that you have the option here to select colors you know the colors of that shape you're trying to create you can even add a custom color it's like this is 22 i can put 33 you can easily add your color codes here and generate because i realized that when you generate your svgs uh, using this blob maker you are not in position to change that color once you export that svg into elementor you need to have your colors right generated from here then you are able to use that same shape in the ele in Elementor. Since we are done creating our SVG and we have the color that we want, I'll just say maybe this color, then I'll say download. Once you have generated your blob and downloaded it onto your computer, the next thing you have to do is import that blob into Elementor and you use it anywhere on your page, just like here. One thing you have to check is to first go to Elementor then you come to settings and come under advanced and make sure that you have enabled SVG uploads. That is if you realize that you are unable to upload your SVGs. So once you have that enabled and saved, then once you come over here, you can simply just add an icon element, drag it right here on your section. Once you have that selected, then say upload SVG. Then you can locate your SVG file wherever it is and then you upload it to your computer. Once you upload it, it will appear right here and then you can insert that media to wherever you want. You can increase the size, you can uh, rotate that media file, but you are unable to make changes to the color, specifically for blobs that have been generated using the blob maker. If you're happy with the direction or the orientation of your blob, then you can simply even add uh, motion effects for example if i delete this you realize that on this other blob that i actually added to this section which is in the back i added motion effects for example just like here on advanced motion effects i gave it a fade up but i can change that to fade in before i update let me show you what it is working like see it is a fade up we are going to change that to a fade in right then i update once i update i'm just going out to reload this page then you'll see that it's fading in from the right if you want to use a blob as a background you are not in position to do it because elementor doesn't give you a possibility use an icon element as a background image so what you have to do then you will need adobe illustrator so that you can save your blobs as pngs and then you can later on import them into elementor as png images you basically go to your blob shape and say open with uh, adobe illustrator 
and once it's open with Adobe Illustrator, leave it as it is and then you go straight to file, save for web and then you save a transparent image which is uh, a PNG. You save that file, you upload your blob. When you are done uploading it will appear right here and it will be a PNG. Now you see I have two images. I have this which is an SVG for the icon which works well with the icon element in Elementor but this is actually a PNG which works well with backgrounds and also as an image. Then you just insert your media and then you'll have this. You can do all the other custom settings, padding, size, I can say contain, I can say custom, I can increase, I can decrease to whatever I want. But once that is done, you simply just update. But the other one I want to show you how I did was this other one. You see, it animates from the bottom and the phone animates from the top. So how do I do that? I basically just generated the blob from here and when I was done, I opened it in Adobe Illustrator. This is how it looked like. Then it was having another color. But what I just did was basically to give it a white color. And then I saved that one as a transparent image. Okay, just like this. Then I was able to get this PNG right here on my desktop, which is a blob and it's a transparent image with white as the color. I could be in position to import that into my website. This is the image right here. It's a transparent image having no background but having a white feel. So once I got that right here, just came to my page, came to the column section, uh, style, and then I added that blob, which is right here. Then I went to the advanced section and then motion effects, and then I added a motion effect for my choice. In this case, I had chose fade in up for the phone, which is this on top. Then I gave that one a motion effect of bounce in down and you can choose from many others for example there is one called um, just flash okay so maybe I can try this and then you see how it looks like so now when I come over here to the home page you realize that it will flash boom I also want to show you the very last one here it's basically the same blob which is this when we come over here select the column go to the style you realize that I added an image which is a PNG I came over to the background overlay and then I gave that background overlay color so let me try to remove that change it to another you realize it changes once I was done with that I gave it an opacity you can give the overlay color any opacity color that you wish for me this works better then I just hit update so guys that's how you can create your blobs for your elementor websites or projects for free and uh, you don't need any expertise in creating shapes or using uh, illustration programs and all that stuff thank you so much for watching do all those things smash like subscribe comment I'll be happy to see you joining the community. Have a good time. Peace.